name is Elsa and I'm 19 years old and welcome to the Learn This Skill campaign. Today we'll be learning how to make paper aeroplanes which are really awesome and really fun to play with. And as we go we can learn some facts about planes as well. Did you know that the first plane was invented in 1903 which was over 100 years ago? So let's begin. For this activity you'll need a piece of paper like this and also some colouring pens or pencils like these. The first step is to fold our piece of paper in half down the middle, just like this. Make a good crease. Then we unfold it again. Next step is to pick one of these top corners. So I'll pick this one. And you fold it into the middle so it looks just like this. And you fold that line down there. So now we've got a flap. Do the same thing on the other side as well. So it looks like this. Did you know that the biggest aeroplane in the world is as wide and as long as an entire football pitch? The next step is to fold the sides into the middle again. So we'll take this side and fold so that there's a point at the top. And do the same on the other side as well. After this, we fold the entire thing in half. Like that. So it looks like this. Now it's time for the most important part of the aeroplane. What do you think it is? Yes, it's the wings. So, we're going to leave a bit of space to hold the aeroplane and we're going to fold along this line to make a wing. And then we're going to flip the entire thing over. See what I've done there? And fold the other side out on, along this line to make the other wing. And here we go, well done. You've made a paper aeroplane. Here's another fun fact about planes. Some planes can move very, very fast. Some can move even faster than the speed of sound. And these kind of planes are called supersonic planes. So we have our paper aeroplane, but we're not quite finished yet. Remember the colouring pens from earlier? Now it's time to use them. So we can use these pens to decorate the plane. I think I'm going to put keen designs on mine. So do as much or as little decoration as you would like. But here's the final product. Now let's see how it works. Thank you for following on with me. I hope that you've enjoyed learning how to make a paper airplane and see you next time.